Hello everybody and welcome to One Player Today. We're back with another entry into the PNP series. And this is the second entry um, by Mr. D. DiMaggio. Um, he is the designer of the previously played Rolling Village. Um, go back and watch that video if you have not seen it because it's a fantastic little game. Excellent little puzzle. This is the Roll and Write Adventure Lantern, in which we take this brave adventurer here through these various dice-based challenges all the way to face this epic foe dragon. By the way, love this artwork. I think it's so great. And I've seen a lot of different, I've seen a lot of BGG entries where they've it's been colored or or uh, decorated in various ways, and I, I just think it's, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Um, we are gonna get started with these six dice by preparing our adventurer by determining his uh, abilities, um, his constitution, and his level of experience um, in order to be able to manipulate said dice in the various roles as we move through these challenges. Um, one thing also to note is that folks who've been following the channel for just a little while will know that I've been upgrading my board game table uh, slowly and steadily over the last you know month or so, and so it gives me great pleasure with which to, oh yeah, atmospheric lighting. Let's light that lantern. Maybe should we go a little bit lighter? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, look at that. The lantern is lit, and we must carry it forth to the Outer Lands to destroy the ominous dragon foe fella over there. We are going to prepare by rolling all six dice to generate the adventurer's, as I said, the adventurer's abilities and constitution. If we roll less than 15, we can start again. Um, what have we got here? We're, we're good. We're, oof, we're not. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Uh, what's that? 11, um, 17, 19. Yeah, all right. So we are going to assign each of these dice to each of our abilities and our constitution here. And what that will do is give us various abilities on our journey with which to flip the dice from one side to another. Um, plus or minus one to a dice result, so turn this five into a six or a four, for example. Reroll a single dice with our magic ability, or um, roll all of the dice, again, with our constitution. So, what do we think? What do we, what do we, what do we think here? I, we've got a decent mix of each. I don't really like these ones, per se, but, you know, we'll just go with them. Um, one of the dice, so you'll notice there's one, two, three, four, five things to fill in. This is our experience here. There's five things to fill in, and then we, we use the sixth dice um, to fill up here, which is essentially how many more experience we get when we reach uh, challenge number five. So let's play that short and just do a little bit, because I'd like to have a pretty strong adventurer just to begin with. Let's go with six to constitution. Because um, I feel like that re-rolling everything is always nice. Or I should say it's not re-rolling everything, but re-rolling uh, multiple dice, if you will. Yeah, let's give uh, let's give any dice um, six. So we're going to draw six pips in here, which we will shade in once we use um, said ability. Let's give um, let's give five to this. Uh, what is this? This counterattack here, and we can add or subtract one to any dice result. So those two are gone. Let's give ourselves a little bit of experience. So let's do that a three, I think. Uh, and we'll give our magic a one. So let's, we'll shade in three experience here. And one to here and three to our critical hit, which is um, to flip a dice over. On the experience track, once we pass experience level one, then experience level two, then experience level three, on each of those levels, we can add a pip to any one of our various abilities. So um, keep your eye out on this. Anytime we roll a one, we will shade in a pip here. And then of course, when we get to here, um, one, we will be able to add an extra pip as well. So should we get started? We've got five dice to roll our first challenge, which are these angry looking dire wolves over here. And we need to roll a four, a five, and then three equal dice. So these X's are equal uh, amounts. Um, you'll see this one as challenge four is three equal of one type and three equal of another type. Um, so we need to roll a four or five and three equals. Let's see what we can get. We've got, hmm, we've got a four, so that's, we will definitely keep that. We've got two twos and two ones. Now we could indeed use a flip. Um, we could flip this to a five and then we'd only need to roll one more one. I suppose we could also 
Um, we could use two skills. So we could flip this one to this guy, shade that in. We've got a four and a five. And then we could use our counter attack here also to minus one to this and boom, successful. Um, I maybe shouldn't have used that many abilities on um, on my first roll, or maybe should have used the more, more available uh, resources, I suppose, but you know, there you go. Um, here we go, we need a two, three, four, and two equals, so let's hope for something good. It's not really, but we do have our two equals in either fives or sixes. Actually, you know what, we could do exactly the same, couldn't we? Um, we can flip, we can flip this to a two, and we can minus this to a four. So I don't see why we don't just do exactly the same thing. So flip that to a two. And minus one to be a four. And we've got two, three, four, and two sixes. So we're shading challenge two. We are motoring along. Not too bad. Three, four, five, and three equals. So this is where our sixth dice comes in. And we face down the challenge of, I'd say these look like zealots to me. Some some sort of abandoned church action. What have we got? Oh, three ones. That's perfect. Um, three ones. We need a three, a four, and a five. In which case, we have a three. I could use two of these. Although, do I want to maybe start doing some re-rolling? Probably because, you know, I don't want to use all of these up just yet. Um, oh, we rolled three ones. I hope we didn't roll any ones before. I didn't take note. But we rolled three ones. So that's one, two, three. And at the end of this round, we'll get an extra pip um, to go towards one of these lovely um, abilities. Let's, let's re-roll this and see if we can get a three or a five out of it. We did get a three and a one, so that's, no, I was going to say we could flip that, but obviously we can't, that's incorrect. Not, not correct indeed. So we could re-roll just one and see if we can roll a five with it. Yeah, let's, let's use our magic spell. It's a six, so we can minus one and take it down to a six. So I don't know if it was actually, maybe I should have just used the good ones uh, because that cost me a few more powers than I would have liked. But one, two, three, and we are through. I said on BGG that I've seen the, the a couple of these been shaded in really cool. Um, they had shaded in the path, which I thought was really awesome. So I'm just gonna copy the heck out of that. And you fools have been defeated. And now we're on to what look to be um, graveyard skeletons. Obviously classic, um, you know, it's very golden X. Um, let's see what we get. We need three equals and three equals. So it looks like that's gonna be through fours and sixes for now. We've rolled another one. Oh, and I forgot to give myself an extra point. So where do we put our extra point, do you think? This one's been pretty useful um, thus far, although this one we've got less of. So let's put it here um, and let's see what we can do with this. Um, in fact, I probably will use one of each of those again because we can flip this or sorry we can flip this to a six and add one to this to be a four so let's do that i know i'm kind of using up or doing what i said i wouldn't and using up all of my cool abilities to start with but you know what maybe we're just gonna have to rely on luck in terms of getting to the, dra the dragon i don't know we've got three and a three and the skeletons are down we have reached Special Zone 5, the bonfire. Silence all around. We get to rest and reflect on our journey so far. This will allow us to add one experience pip, so we will do that, and one constitution circle where we can re-roll as many dice as we want. Now, the maximum for each of these abilities is seven, so we've hit our maximum on constitution. We can't add any more to this. We can still add um, many more to these. So, on to giant spider cave. It's classic tropes. I'm into it. Two, three, four, and three of a kind. Okay, actually that's not a bad start, is it? We've got two, three. Hmm. We could change this into a four, and then we just need to roll this into a five. 
or do we re-roll and see what we get? Let's, um, hmm, we're a bit nervous. Oh, we got a one, so we can shade in the track. Excellent, we get one more, we get a new, uh, we get a new ability next turn. Um, hmm, do we, do we add one to this and make it a guarantee? I think, I'm a bit nervous about running out of these, you know, so... I don't know what's best. Maybe let's let's re-roll all of them and just see if we can get lucky. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, we rolled a one, so that helps because we get some more experience. But unfortunately, that's exactly the same as what we had before. So I will plus a one here and make this a four. And this one is going to have to get re-rolled because there's no way to turn it into a five as is. So we're going to have to re-roll and spend a constitution. Oh! Magic five two three four five 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 and the spider is defeated. Love it, love it, love it. The flame grows ever brighter. Um, <laughs> I'm just having fun. I don't know. Who, I don't even know if he picks up very well on camera, but I, I'm I'm feeling very atmospheric at the moment. I hope you guys are too. We've got a four, five, six, and a th and three of a kind. So not exactly more challenging, but I suppose. Well, actually, yeah, because to turn something into a six, you can't plus or minus. You can only plus or minus if you roll a one, so a, a five. So I suppose it is. Um, I suppose it is a bit more challenging. Um, let's add that um, experience point we gained to this one. I do feel like we're using that the most. Four, five, six, and three of a kind. Come on, you beauty! Oh my gosh, we've actually pretty much got it. Goodness me, look at that. We've got four, five, six, and two fives. So all this needs to be is a five, and we are good. Oh boy, come on. Let's see if we can roll it to a five. Come on. I did... Guys, I didn't even light the candle. I haven't even... I didn't even... I didn't do any... I haven't lit the dice candle. No prayers have been said. And yet, the dice are carrying us through four, five, six, and three fives, and th thusly, challenge seven. This wizardy, towery git has been taken down, and now all there is to it is to see off the final challenge, the final contender. Yes, flames rise in the sky and illuminate the destroyed fortress. It's time to face the dragon. And we need six of a kind. Six of a kind. Let's see what we can do. That one fired off here, but it was a six. We've got three fours and two threes. So I say we stick with some fours. And maybe we... Oh yeah, wow, look at this. Okay, we could technically have five fours in our hand. If we use both of these, we can flip one to four and add one to four. And then we've just got to roll this as a four in three other rolls. I think... Is that what we do? The odds are, if in three rolls, we've got a 50-50 chance, right? Is that is that math? Is that is that how math works? I think it is. Let's flip this. It becomes a four. Let's plus one to this. It becomes a four. Why did I have to search? Obviously, it's on the other side. And now, it's on you. Oh, oh, it happened. Oh, it happened. Oh, my goodness. Well, lantern bright, lantern light, lantern shine me through the night and hit this dragon in the face with our giant lantern sword. I'm going to stop trying to make poetry. That was excellent. Look at that. All fours. We've completed. And this, I'll be honest, this is my like third or fourth playthrough of this. And I have never been able to get the dragon. So I'm feeling very excited. F all fours. We've, we've, we've conquered the dragon. If we won. Whew. Let me give you some flavor text. Returning from your journey, you find shelter in a tavern. You hear about other adventurers that slayed a dragon once. Who were they? What were their names? Obviously, Sir, Sir Solo. If you won, count how many abilities and constitution circles are crossed off. The total is your adventure score. The lower the score, the better. So that's 4, 6 is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, that's right at the bottom. <laughs> it's right at the bottom. Okay, I'll be honest. We're a promising adventurer. 
proudly displaying our battle scars, we might be up for another adventure after a lengthy rest of the inn. That sounds actually pretty... Yeah, that sounds about right to me. That sounds fine. Um, let's have a lengthy rest of the inn and maybe think about going on another adventure later on um, down the road. I mean, there is a score of zero. Legendary Lantern Lord. I don't understand how that's possible. I, I, if you roll this, then this, then this, then this, then this, then this, then this, that's not luck. That's witchcraft. So, so, so this color would be more appropriate. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll stop. It will become. It will become less novel um, as time wears on. But I, I can't help myself. That was Lantern. I do hope you enjoy. Um, definitely go check this out. It's a cool little print and play. Uh, Mr. DiMaggio is is a lovely guy and has obviously got some um, excellent ideas up his sleeve with what to do with some dice um, and and the spare 15 minutes. So go check it out. Um, leave it a like on BGG. Um, go download it. Have a go. See what you can do. Um, can you beat 16? Probably you can. But give it a try and let me know what you think. I'll post a link down in the description. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, do leave me a like if you can. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see more solo board gaming content, more PNP, um, more uh, card games, more solo rules for multiplayer games, more everything board game related specific to the solitaire experience. And until next time, I will see you later.